If you want to understand the next phase of evolution in artificial intelligence, you need to learn about AI agents. No, these aren't the same agents that kept order in the matrix, although they do share some similarities. AI agents vastly extend the capabilities of large language models, allowing them to complete far more complex tasks and more accurately. The agent revolution is just beginning and you don't want to miss out on this exciting development. In this video, we'll be exploring what AI agents are, how they work, what they can do, and what the future holds for this groundbreaking technology. But first, if you're interested in this content, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it and I'll be coming up with a lot more videos in the future. What are AI agents? Agents are systems that can solve complex goals and tasks autonomously or semi-autonomously. They utilize planning, memory, and tools so they can interact with the external world. They can create step-by-step -step plans, make decisions, reflect on the progress, and then adapt the plan to account for new information. The four main parts of an agentic system are the LLM, the planning module, tools, and memory. At the core of an agentic system is an LLM. This is the cognitive engine or the brain of the agent. It makes the decisions, generates responses, and coordinates the other parts of the system. The LLM can be one of the big three closed source providers or one of the many open source models. The planning module is the component of the system that manages the process flow, controlling how information is sent to the LLM. It enables the LLM to break down complex tasks and goals into steps and sub-steps. It facilitates self-reflection on the progress and iterates on the plan until a desired goal state is achieved. Tools extend the agent's capabilities beyond mere language processing and allow it to interact with the external world. Common tools include web search, scraping, and access to APIs and databases. One popular agent framework, Langchain, has 75 pre-built agent tools with everything from Google search to Wikipedia to data analysis. Developers can also create their own custom agent tools. Agents can also employ both short and long-term memory. Short-term memory is typically used as a log of the information associated with the current goal. Long-term memory, which could be stored in a database, is the information from past interactions that can provide continuity, context, and even self-improvement for future tasks. The agentic workflow is a loop. It begins when a goal or a complex task is provided to the agent. The agent breaks down the problem into multiple steps and sub-steps using a structured plan. Then it concentrates on completing the next step in this plan. When necessary, the agent will employ tools to accomplish each task and also integrate the resulting information into its memory. Self-reflection is a crucial step because it allows the agent to assess its progress towards the goal, determine the current stage of the plan, and evaluate if the plan needs revision. This process continues in a loop until the agent determines that the goal has been achieved. Large language models by themselves have a purely linear workflow. The user enters the prompt, the LLM generates a response token by token, and then the process terminates when the response is complete. But there's no ability to review or revise this output. The model has no access to knowledge outside of its training data or prompt, and it has no ability to interact with the outside world. For example, you could prompt an LLM to write a 200 word blog post on recent advancements in AI. It would complete this task token by token without any planning or research or ever looking back on its work to review and revise. Of course, no one would ever approach any complex task or project like this. And the output will be extremely limited. If we were to provide the same task to an agent, the first step would be to break the problem down into smaller tasks. These might be researching the subject, using access to the internet, databases or APIs, creating an outline for the article, working on each section of the article individually, writing a draft, then reviewing, editing, and revising. And the agent would iterate on this process until the goal was achieved. This workflow better resembles how a person or a team of people would go about completing a more complex project. Adding planning, tools, memory, and an iterative feedback loop 
allows agents to benefit from the strong language and reasoning capabilities of an LLM while helping to mitigate many of the LLM's inherent weaknesses. Now we know what agents are and how they can produce better outputs compared to LLMs alone. But what are some real world examples of agents in action? One interesting example is Devon, which its creator refers to as the world's first AI software engineer. Devon writes code and software using similar tools as a human developer. It can create plans autonomously. It has its own command line interface, code editor, and access to the internet. Devon is closed sourced and currently not widely available for public use. But there's also an open source version called Open Devon with similar capabilities and that anybody can access. Another area that's incredibly interesting is AI research agents. Storm AI is a recent development from Stanford that creates well-researched articles based on a user's prompt. Storm is open source and can be run on your own local machine, but you can also go to storm.genie.stanford.edu and sign in to test out the demo. I provide Storm with a topic and a description, and then it goes through the complex process of looking at different perspectives for the article, conducting research online, looking at several different websites, creating an outline, and then finally drafting the article. The whole process took about three minutes and the results look pretty good. And importantly, Storm provides references to its information sources throughout the article. It certainly looks substantially better than what any other LLM could accomplish on its own. The modern version of ChatGPT also demonstrates some agentic qualities. The original release was just a chatbot, but the current version is capable of selectively storing long-term memory, calling on tools like internet browsing, image creation, and code editors, and even generating and carrying out plans for more complex tasks. Those were just a few examples but agents have been built by individuals and organizations to assist in a number of different functions, including financial analysis, content creation, social media and marketing management, data analysis, and many others. So what does the future look like for AI agents? As with anything AI related, there's a lot of hype right now surrounding AI agents. Conversely, there are a lot of people that are overly focused on the current limitations. The complex workflow of agents allows them to perform better on tasks, but it also means that there are more opportunities to make mistakes, like errors in reasoning or calling the wrong tools. The outputs of complex agents are less predictable, which makes it difficult to utilize them in mission critical systems without humans embedded in the loop. However, as the reasoning abilities, speed and costs of LLMs continue to improve at a fantastic rate, so will the abilities of agents to be integrated into important systems and customer facing applications. One very promising method of improving on single agents is to utilize multi-agent systems. These are teams of agents that work together on a complex task with each individual agent taking on a specialized function. For example, instead of using a single agent to write code and build software, you can create a team of agents that resembles a real world software development team with specialized experts like product managers, quality assurance and testing, security, and so forth, all communicating with each other, working together, applying their own specialized knowledge and revising and iterating on each other's work. There's a significant amount of scientific research that has been conducted on multi-agent systems demonstrating superior performance over single agent systems and standalone LLMs. The way I view agents is that they're basically a design pattern that enhances LLMs, making them more autonomous and enabling them to perform a broader range of tasks with higher quality outcomes. As we progress into the future, the tools, reasoning and frameworks surrounding AI agents will undoubtedly continue to evolve. And one thing is very clear, the AI agent revolution is just beginning. If you enjoyed this content, then don't forget to hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel. I'll be coming up with lots more videos in the future. Also, if you have any questions or if you have an idea for a topic that you want me to cover, let me know in the comment section. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching 
and I'll see you in the next one.